How are you, Colin? Yeah. No, you can't say that's not cool. That is cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The boat. That is nice, eh? Hey? Let's put the 914, um, that's the turbo, and then you've got, um, that's the fuel data, or the fuel flow systems, those white wires. Oh yeah. You know, for the computer. Yep. And then you've got um, 141 horses, and at the bottom, yeah, it's quite interesting. They've got an electric fan on the water, and then you've got the oil cooler for the hydraulics. And then that little bubbly thing on the other side there, that's the heater going back to the cab if you need some, a bit of warm air in the morning. Then what they've done here, this is just an indicator, holds 82 litres and gives you about 4 hours endurance or as long as your bladder can last. Wow. So it's a neat looking machine, isn't it's it? It's very lovely. Yeah. How long you had it? Uh, two months. Real new. 15, 50 hours. <laughs> Here, that's the period data. So as soon as you pull this lever, yep. and you come around the back here, um, then as soon as you pull that lever, what it does, it's just like a bicycle brake, and it pulls this oh, yeah. friction in. Yep. As soon as that gets friction, that starts turning. Then that it's inside there is like a, a spring steel shaft. Yep. And as soon as it gets in, it actually unrolls and it gets longer. Then there's a bending up there that kicks the sprocket into the main sprocket. Yeah, right. And that's how you start your pre-rotation. Um, up to 200, then you let go. And then from there onwards, it's only the wind that turns the main blade, nothing on. Yep. And then you just stick along. The brake system is that Ballinger, uh, or Bar Behringer. And it's fully hydraulic with just one little button inside. And, uh, mate, this thing locks you. I saw you land. You can do your whatever. Um, I see you land nice and short. Yeah, well, you can land half. You can land like in 10 meters. You know, you don't have to roll at all. Yeah. Um, when you pull it back, it just stops. Yep. Um, so I just wanted to get you. So I did a very long landing. Very neat looking machine. And then inside, you've got the app map with the Garmin 6060 with the, obviously the you know, run race and iPad. Yep. And you've got the fuel computer, the T. T22 uh, transponder and uh, the TY91 radio deal watch and then everything is blue sync to the two headsets yep. so you put your music on and the other person put his music on so you're completely independent or you put your sync your headsets to your iPad and then you can hey Siri what is the nicest jar in the world on <laughs> YouTube um, nice so yeah, otherwise all carpet, it's very easy to pull the carpets out and give it a little clean. Uh, deal controls, deal PTT and deal trim. Um, yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't follow it, Mike. It's just, uh, I mean, it's actually just got this wrong. You know, yeah. With the, with the shadow or the, or the little shade sails with um, the harnesses, with the packing space behind you that you pull out. This is quite neat. You'll like this. You might incorporate something like this your aircraft. This is just a grab bag, oh, and there you go. Nice. And then, so you put your toothbrush, your shaver, your books, your lockbook, everything in here. Yep. And it's a very simple design. Awesome. And it's very simple to make. And it just comes back, and you click it in, and you know you haven't forgotten anything. Yeah. And you chuck it back in, then off you go. Get back to the hotel, pull it out, your assets card, your passport, your wallet, your, you know. Yeah, right. Everything is there, one shot. You just That's take a good it idea. And then put it back. And you'll be surprised if you put two t shirts, mm. pair of trousers, socks, and jocks. Um, you know, headache tablet, eye drops, or whatever. Yeah. Put it all in there. It's all there, and it's your side, your ease or her side. Yeah, right. And you got your stuff sorted. You know, so that, that's, that's something. That's a great idea. Yeah. So let's go for a ride. And then, uh, Very nice looking machine. Got some vents up here. Oh, boom. This right. I want to show you this. Oh, look at that. So that is excellent. Yeah, so now when you start up and you've got kids in the vicinity or animals, yep. then obviously. Um, I've got a reversing camera. Yeah, you can see for prop clear. Shut off now. And that's it. And this comes down to 40%. There we go to 40%. And you start button. 
And then you check, yeah? Yeah. And I know there's no one there. Yep. This. And she immediately reacts. And then all the years go back to fuel pump on, that one off, and strobe lights on. Right, mate, I'm going to do this loose, and then it will become much more comfortable. Here, there we go. All right, handbrake off, and let's taxi back. That is runway 09, isn't it? Uh, that's 27. Zero. Zero nine. Yeah, okay. zero nine. Oh, that's right. All right, and then uh, rotate the brake. It's the last emergency, or the last warning light there. Yep. That's it. Now we can just turn this air on for ourselves. And then here, I just go back to um, EFIS. And we go to the artificial horizon thing. That's very neat. Yeah, it's lovely. I love, like the reverse camera thing. Yeah. So what, what gyro is this again? A Magni M24 915 IS. So 140 horsepower. 141 horsepower. Yep. And um, the turbo, they got that uh, Canary, Canary, Canarandi or something like that, yep. uh, the system. Canarandi, whatever. Only thing I don't like about it, doesn't have fuel flow. Yep. So I added the FS450 fuel flow meter at the bottom there, the red one. Oh, okay. Yep. So that tell, that's now linked to this thing, and it says currently we are flying to Turtle Park. We uh, flow currently is two liters per um, per hour, yep. and I just taxing three liters. And then uh, as we take off, it will go to 40, and then as you come back, it goes to about 22, 23. Have you ever been in the Jara? Oh, I haven't. No. Okay. Right, Jara is a three-axis aircraft. It's um, exactly the same principle as a normal fixed wing. Only difference is you've got a rotor above you yep. that you have to manage. But you can only manage it a little yep. bit. You only can manage it once um, on takeoff, and you have to have 200 RPM. Right. Um, otherwise, you get the right drive. All right. So now, uh, just too many pilots flying to heaven early. Test all control surfaces. I've done that earlier at Marion. Um, to many mags, we've done that at Marion. Uh, Turtle Park traffic, gyrocopter 915, two passengers uh, just taking off uh, from runway 09 for a local flight not above 1000, Tra Turtle Park. All right, what I need to do now is let the brake go. All my temperatures is in the green, I'm very happy with it. We've got 40 litres on board, which is about two hours of flight. And uh, I'm going to pre-rotate on this to 132, then we wait for 200, then we just sneak off and then we take off and make a right turn. Excellent. Uh, Tool Park traffic trial to 915 rolling on runway 09. Okay, now what I'm doing now is I'm inducing the rear rotator. And there's the counter in the middle there. And we are at 30 RPM. Wow, look at that, eh? Now we're going to... Now it's still a stick. At 100 it becomes lift. And at 132 we'll fool the transition. It's a small vibration, but you go, then the thing starts biting. Yep. And now I'm going to pull back on the stick, like that. It is 31 degrees currently with the gyro is feeling. I'm going to run forward, just wait for my 200. See there, 185. Yep. 200, there we go, it's all done. And here we go, buddy. Oh, wow. And we're off. Very impressive. Let me just climb out. With the gyro, that will come right just now. We don't really have 30, 30 knots. Um, it's just, just sorting itself out now. And then uh, we can just trim out there. This is awesome. First time in a gyro. Now, the interesting thing with gyro is we're climbing, um, we're climbing at uh, 200 feet at this stage. Yep. And you can just terrace yourself and, um, you know, do the trimming or whatever you want to do. And... Uh, Okay. And now she can just uh, just climb out whatever we want to do. So we're uh, currently just climbing at 500 feet. Yep. At 40 knots, is it? Yeah, you can go down to 10 knots. You can go down. Yeah. They, they, they can't stall. Yeah, right. Um, so we, um, I'll explain that to you. 
Um, so then when you turn, if you want to turn, we just turn like a, you just turn. So there's no, there you can see we're now 30 knots yep. and we can just turn and put ahead and do whatever we like. Or you can put the nose down and we can go to 80 knots. Um, so the nice thing about gyros is the, it's a self-correcting mechanism. So the blade at the top here yep. spins at a constant 360 to 410, just constant. Yeah. Now we've got no control over it. it, it's just the wind. And then uh, that's turning it. And you can now you can do whatever you like. So if we, um, if we decide we see something on the right hand side there, then you just can come back on the power and literally just, just focus on the target and just turn it and, you know, just, you don't lose any height. Wow, but that's you, awesome. But you can, and are you just turning with rudder or you yeah, got... A little bit of rudder, a little bit of aileron. Yep. And, uh, and that just how she flies. So you can now do your, you know, all your inspections and whatever. We trim a bit forward and we go to Kincham Dam. So if we go... So ground speed there, uh, 90, 80, so we'll go to 100. It scoots along nice, doesn't it? Yeah. You did switch your noise cancelling on, did you? Oh, that's heaps better. All right. That's a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these are jarring, they are a bit noisy. I can hear you better now. Yeah. So essentially, once these things are up in the air, they fly like a three axis. Exactly like a three axis. Are they sensitive on the rudder compared to a three axis? Yeah, very much. No um, now you can just trim it forward backwards as you wish and just get a feel for it. Then you do a few right and left turns and whatever. Aileron first, followed by rudder. Very, very small movements. And you'll see how easy it is um, to fly. It flies oh, itself. Yeah. You literally just steer it, mate. Yeah, you just think where you want to go. That's and correct. It... And it goes there. And then here's your power. Yep. Um, go to 480, go to 490, you know, 200, so you can come back. back. Yeah, you can pull back a bit with a nose a bit forward, and you just balance those two with each other. And then uh, and then you can play. Um, if you're just, uh, if you're now at 50, put in a little bit of right rudder and aileron, and see if you can do a, a bit of a 180 and keep it balanced. Go a little bit more aggressive with a stick to the other side. There we go. That's how she turns, and that's the lovely. Ah, you like get that. it now? So yeah, it's yeah. opposite. And opposite. So you, um, yep, and then you just. Uh, oh, look at that. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Pivots on the spot. <laughs> that's unbelievable. And you lose nothing. That's, wow, that's incredible. That's why I like gyros, because. Yeah. I'm impressed. <laughs> it's, it's very cool, impressed. Isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. So um, nose down, get it back up to 50, um, get the power back up to 4850, and then we can head off to Kincham Dam. So what's nice is, uh, um, you know, obviously the same as your aircraft, the watch. Yep. 22 litres an hour. Um, you got, you know, all your gauge, you got all your um, fuses, it's easy to pop up right here. Yep. Um, you know, we're currently doing, you know, 1,500 feet plus minus. And uh, you just trim it for where you want to be. Then yeah. you can have your water and your chats and, that's you know, put YouTube on there, whatever. That's excellent, isn't it? Control. Area and traffic, Jarrah, up to 915. We on right phase four, runway zero miles, full stop. this airport. Not too many uh, airports where you got to look out for trains. Huh. No. Have a rotor brake or does it just... Yeah, got a rotor brake, yeah. So it's uh, about it into the wind. And it... Go on, this is... Yep.
We just wait for the 130, and then it's coming back. Right, that's good. Just bring it all the way back in. Waiting for the 200. A little bit of left rather to compensate, let the prioritizer go. Pull power, a little bit left aileron on, and off she needs, just wait for it. And there she goes, almost almost 300, there we go, boom. Then she jumped immediately to 350. Now it's down a little bit, let me just make a right turn. Just get away with like that, and then off she goes. Then once the from the set and the road has picked up to about 400, we climb out. This there is you. awesome. There she goes. He just used the terrain. I've got a little park, I go zero, zero, this is what I said for Palmyra, entering and backtracking one way, zero, no, no. Total park, total park traffic. The beauty of this as well is uh, even on a hot day, you could, you could go uh, fairly low. You Correct. wouldn't have to get out of the bumps. Correct. Yeah. Uh, so the, the rotors, uh, they're flexible. Yep. So they, they work they work out the turbulence. So when you see here, we at 375. When we go into the adiabatic effect off off Mount Vince, you'll see their jump. Yep. There were 370. We can jump to 410. Then you know there was a huge updraft. Ah, when okay. it falls down to like 320, there was a huge downdraft. Yep. And uh, but you don't know that. You just see it. it, it it's amazing, but it does. It just. You know, you get to know the machine very well, and I mean, we're at 1,000 now. Yeah. And, uh, just wait for that says not to backtrack. Traffic number, it's 18574, it's now turning final, full stop, 18 number. It's, uh, um, yeah, it's absolutely <laughs> cool. No, it's a cool aircraft, and, oh, you know, if you nasty. put in a four-year-old or you put in an 88-year-old, yeah. it, because there's no bumps or... There's none of that shock, you know, you yeah. don't scare people. Um, it's, it's um, once you get to know how it works, yeah. um, you just have to manage that, that 400 RPM on takeoff, get there first, build yep. it up, and then when you when you configure it, just trim and go. Um, you know, then you climb out five, 600 feet a minute with two up and fuel tanks. Um, yeah. Just focus on the airspeed there, and we've got crosswind, you know, so there's 35. Huh? Doesn't matter. Unbelievable, then, no. Just uh, aim it towards the... Traffic coming up, it's been 8575, now it's runway. Do what they call a vertical, this at 500. Or you can uh, lift it up a bit. Uh, get yourself orientated again for in line with the runway. You obviously can use your your VOR approaches. I love how you can just put the nose down and uh, <laughs> aim aim for where you want to land, <laughs> and then you can get it to centimeters. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Even if you junk it down, you pull it up. Right now, we have to stop quickly. Oh, yeah? Just, like, pull it up, and you stop. Be like, you have to wow. stop, and that's, like, you know, maybe 10 meters. Yeah. So and you can plonk it down hard. You, you, you can come in, round out, yep. and just pull, pull it. And you can even pull it a meter above the ground. And she just stops there, and she just literally, you know, you can put it in the glass pool if you have to wait yeah. for the rotor to stop. Otherwise, there's four of us. Yeah, that would be good. Ah. Thanks for that, Colin. That was fantastic. Yeah, what we'll do next time is um, you can do cradle to grave. You know, you can uh, you know start getting the feel for it. Yeah. Uh, when we over the island, it's nice one form, one fly. So, you know, I take off form, but you fly, and yep. that's sorted out. So it's pretty neat.